Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reiner here. Let's make it pop. It's another learning unit, and this one is our last in an insects and arthropods unit. And we're gonna learn a little about insect anatomy today. And we're gonna make our own pop-up that shows off insect anatomy. Let's learn a little about insect anatomy. The insect body is divided into three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. An insect's eyes, antennas, and mouth parts are all located on its head. Kind of like humans, except we don't have antenna. Now the thorax usually has the legs and wings attached to it. And the abdomen usually has things like the reproductive system, um, the digestive system, and things like that are all located inside the abdomen. All right, so let's get started making our pop. So what do we do first? We have to download the templates down below. You can see a link down below and you download them and print them out onto cardstock. Cardstock's a little heavier than regular paper. You can use any color you'd like. You're gonna see two types of lines. You're gonna see a solid black line uh, on the templates and you're gonna also see a dotted black line. And those are what we're gonna look at first. We're gonna score along all those dotted black lines. And um, what score means is we're just gonna make a fold line. So we're gonna take a big paper clip and we're gonna take a ruler and we're gonna rub the edge of that big paper clip. We're gonna press a little down using the ruler to kind of give us a straight edge. So we're just gonna go along all those dotted lines. And what that scoring does is it makes it really easy for us to fold on each one of those lines. Once we've finished scoring all the fold lines, the next step is actually cutting out all the pop-up pieces. So follow along all the solid black lines and cut out all the pieces. Be real careful. Use a pair of scissors that you like. And, you know, as you're cutting around some of those edges, instead of turning your scissors and your hands to, um, to go along those different curves and, and corners, Turn the paper instead, and it makes it a lot easier. Sometimes, if you have a lot of pieces on one piece of paper, sometimes it helps to cut out um, just roughly all those different pieces and then carefully cut around all those edges. All right, so we've cut out all these pieces. Let's see, there's a base page, there's this head piece here, and we're gonna pre-fold them. So I'm gonna fold this head piece down the center, just like that. Actually, I'm not folding, those aren't my hands, those are Kirsten's hands, she gives me a hand, or two hands, ha <laughs> uh, a lot when we're making these pop-ups. So, see how she's folding? She's just pre-folding that pop-up head. That's gonna be our insect head. And then once we've done that, we're gonna fold this next piece, this is gonna be the abdomen. Uh, we've learned about all these different parts of the, the bug, and now we get to, to pre-fold them to make our pop-up insect, to show off insect anatomy. There, that piece is folded. Let's fold this piece here. This is going to be the, this is actually going to be the thorax of our insect. Look at that. We're just going to fold it down the center in these two tabs, just like that. And then also we have these last two pieces that are going to be folded exactly the same way. We're going to fold this tab like this. Fold this is at the, these are the legs of our insect. We're going to fold this last tab just like this. And both of these pieces fold exactly the same way. And then once we pre-folded everything, let's get to building! All right, we need some glue. Let's use some craft glue. I just use regular white craft glue, like Elmer's or something like that. Let's glue on the head. See these two tabs here on the bottom of the head? They actually glue right there. And see those little shapes? Those should match. So we're gonna just put some glue right on those little gray areas. We're gonna fold it under just like that. And it should sit right on the base page just like that. Make sure that the center line of that headpiece, see we fold it under the tabs and it glues underneath. We're gonna make sure that the center line of that headpiece is lined up with the center line of the base page. Now let's glue on these, the bottom part. This is gonna be where the abdomen goes. Look, it's like a head and then we got the abdomen, but nothing's connecting them. Well, we'll get to that part in a bit. You're gonna put some glue in those gray areas and see they're gonna match exactly the shape of our tabs when they're folded under. Look at that, perfect. And see the center line of that abdomen piece lines up exactly with the center line of our base page piece. These are these um, mechanisms that we're using for the head and for the abdomen that are glued on. Those are V-folds and you can learn more about how to use V-folds in some of my other videos like my pop-up masterclass. See how those move? Make sure that they're both in place 
and that your glue is dried. This is the going to be where the um, this piece is the thorax of our insect, right? And see, there's tabs here and here. These areas go uh, on the base page. So we're just going to put some glue just in that little gray area there. That's real nice. Don't put too much. You don't want a big old puddle of glue. You just want to make sure that there's just a little bit there to glue it in place, but not too much. So now. There we go, there are those two tabs, and they go just like that. And again, this piece is centered with the center line of our base page. So here we are, we've got our insect anatomy all happening right here. It's got the thorax, it's got the head on the top, and on the bottom, we have the abdomen, and it's all connected. But what are we missing? We're missing something after we've taken, we're missing the legs. <clears throat> now this insect that we're making, this is an ant, so it doesn't have this one, this ant does not have wings, although some ants do. We're just gonna have legs on this insect, this ant. We're gonna glue this tab, it's gonna go right here. You can see it follows the shape of this tab. So you can see that that, that little tab goes right there on the thorax, see how it lines up? And it should fit. And then we're gonna glue this other tab in place on the base page, see how it folds under? Just like that. Perfect. And now let's do the other side. And when you're gluing down some of these tabs, make sure you press it um, with your finger. Make sure that it's really glued to the, the page or to the other pop-up piece. And then after you've pressed it down, make sure you let it dry for a second because you want to make sure your pop-up works and it's all stuck together. You don't want pop-up pieces popping right off the page, right? Well, we want them to pop up. We, we don't want them to pop out and fling onto the floor. That would be bad. There we go, we've glued on the other side, just like just like the right side is gonna be just like the left side. Press it and let it dry. Then we're gonna fold it shut, let's see. There's our pop-up insect. It's an ant and we're, it's gonna show off insect anatomy. You can label it and you can show which is the head, where's the thorax, where are the legs, and where's the abdomen. But there it is, we've learned a little about insect anatomy. Insects are so cool, I love them. Um, and I love learning more about creatures like this. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. And if you want to see more, um, be sure to let me know what kind of pop-ups you'd like me to do in future learning units. This is Matthew Reinhardt saying bye-bye and let's make it pop every day. Bye-bye.